Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Gothic 2, The Night of the Raven. In the last episode, we managed to close the gap, so to speak, reach over to a different part of the island close by to the Force Tablet, got a magic bow, got some other cool stuff, like a new blade, right in my hand here. And now we're in a great library down the valley where the raptors once were. Or rather, razors once were. As well as the orcs. We also fought one of the enemies here, and the fire devil that you probably can't see at all because it's like translucent. But you might get a little bit of a silhouette there. There it is. So we're going to decide what door we want to take, left or right. I'm going to go with right first because I'm right handed. So, let's see what we might have here. Oh, I hear stone guardians. Or one for that matter. There we go. Nothing there. Anything on you? Nope. Let's slowly go over there. Oh, there's another one. I knew it. I knew it! Don't ever trust stone Not guardians. There. There's another fire devil over there. Uh oh. Turn around. Good. Should have it now. Yep. Beautiful. Potion, potion. There's some lactons. And a chest. Which contains more gold and... Not even sure what this is. Oh, stone tablet of crossbow. Not too bad. I'll take that. Right. Before we go down... Let's heal up. We can use these scrolls for ones anyway now. Since we're not using them all too much at this point. So... Oh, Stone Guardian, hello. Easy. Nothing there. No key whatsoever. However, a chest, which contains three old stone tablets and some more. Also, a ring. Is there anything else down here? Nope. I suppose this was not the correct door to take, because we haven't found the last tablet just yet. So, I guess we have to go the other way and see what awaits us behind door number two. Oh! A welcome committee! Guess I wasn't too welcome after all, eh? Oh well. I can take a hint. I'll be going. But not right away. Cause... Loot calls! And adventure awaits! Does any of those two have anything Nothing on them? Plunder. Nothing there. Nope. Oh, there's another fire devil. Back there. Anything else around here? Oh, hello. Yeah, you saw I didn't see her there just because he was standing sideways. Uh-uh. I saw you anyway. Now we're gonna let that thing get out of there. Oh no! <laughs> He was standing too far away and I could only hit it a little bit there. Oh well. I guess we're gonna do it again, eh? Just wanna make sure they get that... Oh wait. It's already awakened. Okay. Well. You common or not? I'll have all day. Oh, it's just teasing me, is it? Okay. Ah, 
There we go. Guess you got extinguished after all, eh? Oh, I hear some more. Bad news in the neighborhood. Alright, gotcha. To be there. I believe that should be all of them. And there is the yellow stone tablet. The last one that we need at this point. I'm gonna rob this place clean though, because why not? There's also a chest in that corner, which I'd like to take. And another tablet of archery. I sure like that. And that would be all of that in here. Nothing there. He doesn't have any loot. Now these lactins that you saw here, they are important in a bit. But for now, we are going to go back to the water mages, or rather to Satyrus, to tell him, Hey man, we're done. But before we do that, in all honesty, we're going to take a left turn right at that lake. And we're going to explore the area back there, below that little stone portcullis. Now we killed all the black hounds back here. So there should be no more enemies for right now. But you never know. I mean, s these enemies here, they do not respawn. So, other than in the normal, like, Corinna's world, nothing in here will ever respawn. Which can be a blessing or a curse, depending on how you see it, I suppose. Especially considering you will only get the XP once from everything. So, there was a little bit of here. Let's eat some mushrooms instead. Instead of drinking all the potions away. We need to go to Zuri's anyway in Corinna's and buy all his potion stacks. Like, buy his potion stacks completely out. Because I would like to have the 50s, the 75s and the 100s. Just for that reason. Because brewing them would be a, quite a waste of time. Especially considering there are far better potions that you can brew later on. I don't want to keep those uh, lap bottles for that part. Alright. Nothing yet going on. There's a rapier here though. And a little chest. Too good to be true, right? Ooh, an amulet. Probably a protection one, judging from the color. Yep, amulet of fire. Called it. Ten reduction from fire damage. Uh, there's nothing here. We have to go right hand side. Oh! Minecrawler Warriors! Hmm. Alright then. Come to Papa. Oh ho ho! Two hits. Yeah, that just happened. Should only be two of them. Gotcha, my friend. Some walk skins, I'll take that. A horn of a shadow beast. And the next. Let's see what's hidden here by Greg. Uh I think I found some. Satchel, pitch, stone tablet. Oh, and some shadow beast stuff. Hmm. Very nice indeed. And while we're here. Let's pick these mushrooms up, and also, let's get up here, get a scroll, and another rune, as well as a sword. And of course some gin, because why not? Guess he was very drunk when he died back here. What rune was that, however? That was 
Ooh, heal medium runes. But the problem is, of course, that is only for magicians. And we don't have learned any magic at all. And that terrible... Oh god, my tongue. And this sentence was terrible. There we go. Now, we also have the opportunity to go up that little rock port colors there. So, we need to make sure that we get there. And from what I recall, you can go up the right hand side here, or the other way around, just what you like to do. Doesn't matter, you can go up both ways. This one, of course, not the preferred one, because as you can see, this is like uh, not really the way you should be going up. Also, we've got a graphics bug up here. Beautiful. Anyway, all right, and back we are. Now, let's see what's inside that X, because this time there's no graphical glitch. Uh, I think I've found something. Scroll, scroll, and a lump of ore. And also a potion, most likely a mana potion. Because it was blue. So, let's have a look around this side here. Oh, hello. Also, before I should do that, I probably should be saving. Just to be sure. Goodbye, Bloodhound. Now, you would think and say, well, where are we going to end up when we go through here? And I tell you, you will see soon enough. Let's pick up everything that's left here. Probably left behind by a lover pair, one of them being an archer or hunter of some sort. And the other person, I don't know. No indication of who he or she was. Now, indication here, however, is an X. So, let's have a look there. What might we find here? Uh, I think I found a stone something. stone tablet, some sulfur, and a silver ring. Right, most of it not really that much. What I need. Oh, hello, a desert rat. Rarely do we see those in the area. More of them coming, however. Ooh, and also some mushrooms. I like that. Good chance of having... Ooh, hello. Good chance of having my mana increase now. Very soon. The more I find, the better. I am not frightened by you anymore, Minecrawler Warrior. And by you, not even close. Nothing to be had there. Alright, let's discover this location completely. Explore all the small things that happen in this cavern. Come over here. There we go. Gotcha. Ooh. More shrooms over here. Be useful. Just these digger meats. Well, that's fine too. Not too fancy, but that's fine too. Alright, that's also worth quite a bit of XP in here, so I'm not saying no to that one bit. Okay, scroll. Another one. And some potions. I would think this is a big one there. And also, let's open up this chest. And we shall find a lot of stuff. Ooh, rune power. A two-handed sword for 115 strength. Hmm. This could certainly be interesting. There should be something over there, if I see that correctly from here. So we're going to go there first. Before we go over to the big huge area over there, which obviously leads us outside. Yep, there's a rat in here. There we 
Yeah. I wonder when I ran away from those, actually. Not anymore. Oh, holy water! I think. Didn't even read that one, but I'm pretty sure it was holy water. It's the only item that looks kind of like that. Yep! Holy water! Well, that's a little bit disappointing. Let's go a little bit deeper and find out what else is inside here. Other than this glowing ring. Ooh, I like these though. Most definitely. Well, I guess I have to fight these minecrawlers first before I get my reward. Come here. Don't be stuck on the environment. Come here, I said. Well, I'll be dealing with the other one in a bit. I want to see what's inside here first. Second one. Oh wait, actually, that was the way I came in, wasn't it? But well, this basically was the way I came in. Or was it? Because there's a lots of stuff to collect here, but there's no monsters anywhere. Now I'm confused. But I think... No, this is where we haven't yet been. Yeah, this was definitely the way we came in, but this is not. So this is the other path that we could have taken. So let's explore this location in order to know where we end up. And let's say hello to you, Mantis. And let's say goodbye to you, Mantis, because that's how we deal with you right now. We're going to leave those plans lying around, however, because that's not what we do. We collect all the things, no matter what it is. No matter if we need it, we are going to collect it. Now, if I remember correctly, there should be another X here close by. I'm not entirely sure where it is, but I'm pretty sure it's around here somewhere. That is a shadow beast, I think. No, it's actually a fire devil. Okay. Let's try to push it back against the wall. There you go. Beautiful. A stone breaker. Hmm. Don't think I've seen that one just yet. So, let's figure out what it is. Stonebreaker. A master sword. Oh, yeah, I picked one of those up. That's right. Rapier is 50 strength. No, 50 dexterity, okay, sure. Battle axe. Oh, that's the Stonebreaker. 80-80. Not really that great. Not at this point of the game at all. You won't you won't need that one. Trust me on that. And as you can see in my inventory, we have collected far better items already, so I'm not going to bother with any low tier weapons anymore. Right, let's just have a look for the axe around here. Could be over here. No. 
Pretty sure there is one close by. Have a look at the map for a second. Yep, there's definitely one. Up here, eh? Yep, there it is. Blindsighted again. The axe is right there. Oop. That was not really good loot. But maybe here's much better one. And we have Ta da Uh I think Dragon I Blood, a gold ring, and that's it. Hmm. Dragon Blood. I believe that would actually be for the mercenaries and not for the paladins, but we're gonna collect it anyway. And see what we can do with it later. So we're now in the other part, more close to the bandits, rather, uh, than we should be. So, we're about done here. There is an axe in the... No, actually, we collected that as well. So, we got this one. Oh, yes, 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 yes. The one there, yes. The one there, nope. I don't think I got the one close to the location of the teleport stone in the swamp there. I've got to have to look for that. But otherwise, I should have everything in the swamp. Close to the mages, I have both of them. Close to the canyon down there, I have both of them. Um, this one close to the teleporter stone I have, I think. The one to the bottom, though. I think I have the one to the bottom as well. If I remember correctly. I don't have Greg's compass left to the left-hand side where the pirate camp is, so that's for sure. Uh, but I should have all the other things, so... Yeah, we should be good. So, uh, let me come back, folks. We'll be looking for that one closer to the teleporter here in the swamp. And then we'll see what happens next. So, I will see you all next time.